15 jobs that will disappear in the next 20 years. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hey there, Aluxers, we have a very different kind of video for you today. I know that for some, the future is incredibly exciting, filled with new technologies and new opportunities. But for some others, the future doesn't look as bright, and we want to raise some concerns with you guys. A study done at Oxford University found out that 45% of all current jobs will disappear in the next 10 years, with some of them being completely automated or at least upgraded to a point where a fraction of the workforce is needed. So, this will greatly impact the way you plan for your future, as the environment is changing. In this video, we'll go through just some of the jobs that will radically change in the upcoming decade and the years that follow. If you're currently working in either of these industries, it might be a smart call to look for alternatives. Don't say we didn't warn you. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. With that said, here are 15 jobs that will probably disappear or be automated in the next 10 to 20 years. Number 1. Drivers let me put it this way, if your job consists of driving any type of machinery, automobile or vehicle, you're gonna be out of a job soon. Taxi drivers, bus drivers, truck drivers, Uber drivers and delivery drivers are all on the verge of complete automation. In the US alone, there are 15.5 million trucks and 2 million tractor trailers on the road, with the trucking industry employing 14 million people, out of which 10 million are drivers. These are the people who are going to be pushed out first, because a self-driving truck doesn't need to stop for rest, is attentive to the road 24-7, and we already have the technology. Believe it or not, this is already backed by the government in Germany, and they're betting hard on self-driving trucks. If you've watched our Tesla video, you know that the next generation of Tesla cars will be 100% autonomous. Elon Musk himself agrees that it will take us one to two years to get the tech right, and then three more to get the government to approve it. All major car manufacturers are headed towards electric and self-driving cars, and those who won't will be left behind. In the near future, riding in a car will be like getting in an elevator. You just press a button and it takes you to wherever you want to go. Now, what's going to happen to the estimated 20 million to have their livelihoods based on being active drivers? These people will need to reinvent themselves multiple times in a row. This might be easy if you're currently 20 to 30 years old, but what will a 50 plus year old taxi driver be able to readapt to? Not sure what these people will be able to do to switch from taxi driving to 3D modeling for virtual worlds, but we'll see. Number 2. Farmers Farming was huge when it came to employment numbers back in the day. This has changed dramatically though. You might still see farming as human labor intensive in the underdeveloped parts of the world. But on a macro level, this has already been automated, with very few specially trained individuals that operate heavy machinery from the comforts of the office via wireless connections. Back in the day, you needed to physically measure your plot of land, needed human labor to weed it out, and another set of people to harvest and transport the end product to where it's needed. Now we measure things with drones or satellite imagery. The soil is already treated against weeds, or the seeds are weed resistant to begin with. Harvesting and planting can be done in a small fraction of the time it used to, thanks to specialized hardware, and the trucks carrying out will be self-driving really soon. Bearing the title of farmer in the near future will be as highly ranked as banker or hedge fund manager, since there'll only be a handful of people having the oligopoly when it comes to what you eat. If this sounds ridiculous to you, that only a few people will be in charge of our food, you're already too late to the table. Today, only 10 companies control almost every large food and beverage brand in the world. Anything you eat probably comes from one of them, these companies. Nestle, PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, Unilever, Danone, General Mills, Kellogg's, Mars, Associated British Foods, and Mondelez. Welcome to the future, Aluxers! Number 3. Printers and Publishers The newspaper is dead. Traditional media is suffering as the internet is eating up everything. You no longer need to get your news from the papers, you get them via Twitter or live streams as they are happening. All traditional magazines are fighting for their lives not to survive one versus the other, but to survive as a whole. If you've watched our video on Forbes magazine, you know that despite having such a strong brand, they're on the verge of collapse despite their massive push into digital media. 
Information is free, and there are very few publishers where the trust in the brand is enough to keep the motors going. A great example is the New York Times, one of the only publications who have successfully implemented a paywall for readers to consume their written content. Can you imagine if we would implement a paywall on Alux.com, where you guys had to pay $1 to find out what the most expensive car in the world is? We'd be out of business quicker than you can say luxury. With the democratization of news sources, big brands are struggling to find their place in this online-first environment. Unless you're in your 50s or more, you're unlikely to get your news from TV networks. While Trump is watching Fox News, we're here backing Philip DeFranco's Patreon on YouTube. Number 4. Cashiers America alone has 8 million people working as cashiers and in-store salespeople. These people are going to be out of a job sooner than they think. I know you've seen the self-checkout stations, and they still have someone supervising them, and they're buggy now and then, but we're not far from a total takeover of the machines in this space. If you've been following what the biggest commerce giants are doing, it's easy to connect the dots. Amazon acquired Whole Foods for close to $14 billion. The same Amazon is running pilot tests with what they call Amazon Go, a corner store with zero humans involved, where you just walk in, get what you need, and walk out, with everything you bought being automatically deducted from your credit card. Sensors are on the rise, and the tech needs to only be a little better than the human counterpart for the switch to be made. Also, the AI cashiers can go 24-7 without bringing the drama of their personal lives into the workplace. Number 5. Travel Agents When's the last time you went to a travel agency to book a flight? The likes of Skyscanner took over the flight ticket industry, Booking.com over the hotel booking industry, and Airbnb is disrupting the hotel business as a whole. There's no need for a third person to book the flight or hotel room for us. We can do it ourselves. Or better yet, you can tell Siri to book it for you. Number 6. Manufacturing Workers When the Industrial Revolution hit, all the people working the fields moved to work in factories, handcrafting the machines that would make our lives easier. In the process, and with the advancement in technology, these same people were put in charge of building machines that build other machines that would eliminate the need for humans. A fun thing to do is to compare the way cars were built less than 100 years ago in the factories of Volkswagen and how they're built today. Back then, multiple humans were working in tandem to put together the end product, while today you're watching simple software at work. We heard this great quote a while back that stuck with us, and it goes like this. The factory of the future will only have one human and one dog. The human will be there to feed the dog, and the dog will be there to keep the human from touching the machines. Number 7. Dispatchers I know you're probably thinking of the days when someone had to manually connect you to a different line in order to talk to someone, but an astonishingly high number of people are still working as dispatchers today. The role of the dispatcher is to coordinate the field operators, so things run smoothly for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a firefighter dispatcher, working with planes, the police, or ambulances. We already have technology that is massively outperforming you at your job, and we're now figuring out just the final touches on what is the best way to deploy that technology. Remember only five years ago when you had to call someone and ask for a cab? How do you ask for an Uber or a Lyft today? One algorithm making their way into your particular niche of dispatching, and your job is over. Number 8. Waiting tables and bartending Okay, not all of them will be gone, but the bulk surely have one foot out the door already. Of course, there's a need for social interaction, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you just want to sit down, have the food arrive at your table as soon as possible, enjoy a particular mix of alcoholic beverages, and then leave. All of which can be successfully replaced by a carefully documented algorithm and an iPad. More and more restaurants are jumping in on this trend all around the world. We've even mentioned some of them in our previous video about cool restaurants around the world that you should try out, and we made this video a year ago. Since then, the likes of Itza have taken over, and they're here to stay. Number 9. Bank Tellers I'm sad to say this, as the lady at our bank has always been so nice to me, but we're not going to the bank for social interaction. To be honest, we don't go to the bank anymore, or very rarely when a visit is really needed. Otherwise, we check out our balance on our smartphones. Even the people on our payroll get their money delivered to their accounts automatically, without the need for us to manually and physically fill in a form with their details. 
If you want to grab cash, you go to an ATM. You can open a bank account to most banks in the world online, and only if you're looking for specialized services you might need to meet in person. And even then, you might get the job done with a video call. Number 10. Military Pilots and Soldiers the military is the most sensible industry to innovation. It is the first one to embrace it and deploy it. If back in the day wars were decided based on who had the largest number of troops, today it's a technology play. You no longer see people holding bayonets and riding horses into battle because that would be inefficient. Drones can hit a target more accurately than any human could without endangering the life of the pilot who's sitting comfortably in a chair on the other side of the world. There is still a need for human soldiers, but not as we know them. These are the special ops, the best of the best who are deployed only when there's no other technology at play. Number 11. Fast Food Workers Remember when people were asking for $15 an hour to work at McDonald's? That's when automation kicks in. All the people protesting the low wages for unskilled jobs will be the first ones to be hit if such an increase in pay does happen. Fast food jobs are probably the easiest to automate out of the list, and to be honest, it would have happened anyway, but companies didn't do it right away because they didn't have any incentive to mess with something that's working fine right now. But now with all the protests, the government might actually give in, and that's when the wave of automation takes over. We have an incredible article on our website that takes a look at exactly what's going to happen with the rise in minimum wage, which we strongly recommend you check out in the top right corner and in the description. Number 12. Telemarketer Have you noticed that there are already fewer and fewer telemarketers? Their entire industry has been taken over by targeted ads all around the internet and on all of your devices, specially constructed based on the information the tech giants have gathered from your use on their platforms. Facebook is not a charity. It uses all the data from the things you like, click on, share, or engage with to create a custom profile for every single one of its users, batch them, and sell them to other companies. We ourselves use that type of data to get our videos in front of people that we believe will find them valuable. The irony is, even before this video you're watching right now, there was probably an ad promoting something you more or less are interested in. Ads are getting smarter as they learn more and more from you, and that's why telemarketers are obsolete. Number 13. Accountants and Tax Preparers If it's one thing we've learned so far from this list, it's that boring and repetitive jobs will be taken over by algorithms. What's the role of an accountant? To go through your raw data and organize it. That's like the favorite thing to do for algorithms, that's where they shine, baby! The average accountant in the US earns around $60,000 per year, and there are 1.3 million registered accountants and auditors. Even if it would cost $15 billion to create a highly sophisticated AI that would get the job done perfectly, that piece of software would pay for itself in under two years. That's why AI engineers are going after accountants, lawyers, and medical professionals. Number 14. Stock Traders Long are the days of Jordan Belfort and Gordon Gecko. A study done by Bloomberg analysts in late 2015 discovered that only 10% of the stocks traded on a daily basis worldwide are traded by actual humans and investors. The rest are bots. Wherever there's money, someone will try to automate it and get an edge against their competitors. The stock market is one of those places, and the people behind the biggest funds in the world have deep enough pockets to capitalize on it. Want to be freaked out? Okay, let's say you want to buy a particular stock. You go to your favorite trading platform or secured portfolio management dashboard. You fill in the info with how much you want to buy at said trading price and hit buy. In the time it takes for the signal to reach the servers and approve the order, the bots have already realized you're going to purchase that stock. They buy it for themselves, trade it between themselves, and then sell it to you at a noticeably bigger price. Welcome to the world of micro-trading, where bots always win. You're not going to beat the market. Number 15. Construction Workers Back here on Earth, where people actually use their hands and backs to make things happen, the story looks a lot like what we've been saying through this video. Although the numbers are not clear, there are at least 200 million people working in construction around the world, and with developing countries wanting to expand, you'd expect the number to be on the rise. Well, it isn't, and that's because technology is getting more and more efficient and affordable. Developers now need more machines and a slightly more specialized workforce to use said machines to build. 
As technology progresses, we can see that construction workers will follow the same path as those who used to work in the farming industry in the past. Unless you're the owner of the enterprise, or one of those specialized employees who are further down the line of automation, the future doesn't seem like a welcoming place for you. That's why we wanted to make this video for you. We know most of you are young, but making a bet on these industries in the traditional sense might not be the big payoff you're expecting. Most of you have family that are likely to be impacted by these changes, so make sure you bring up automation next time you're hanging out with your loved ones. As always, our videos are not prophecies, but conversations we want to start with you guys. What other jobs do you think will disappear due to automation? Let us know in the comments. We want to know what your take on this is. And since you're still here, we want to reward you with an extra industry that is seeing massive disruption right now, and not many people are talking about it. Number 16 movie stars. You'd expect people from the creative end of the spectrum to be safe from automation, but you'd be wrong. Human actors are really, really expensive, and as most humans, their lives have ups and downs. When you're investing a couple hundred million dollars in a production, or even more, you wouldn't want that project to be influenced by a particular individual. More and more blockbusters are animations, because those characters do not age, do not complain, and can be easily monetized. What about big movies? Let's take any Iron Man movie. Robert Downey Jr. is less on screen than his CGI counterpart. Soon enough, actors will sell a 3D rendering of their persona to big tech companies, and there'll be no need for them to show up on set. They will just generate them in the scene. Mind-blowing, right? Just to see how many of you stuck around till the end, apart from answering our question of the day, please write futurist in the comments, and we'll do our best to thank each and every one of you. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.